natin na sino man tumanggap sa Panginoon ay makibahagi sa uh, original sa ito na iniwan ng Panginoon sa atin. This is a wonderful occasion where the Lord Jesus Christ will always remind us of His love for us. Remember when the Lord Jesus Christ, before He left the disciples, He got this and He did this sa kanyang mga lagad, expressing His love to them. Because He wants for them to remember that whenever they do the Lord's Supper, they go on to the table, they will remember His love for it for them. Ganun din po, mga kapatid, ano man naging kalagayan natin sa buhay, marami tayong pakukulang, the more that we should come and be a part of the Lord's table. Because this reminds us that God is welcoming us with an open arms. We just need to consecrate ourselves, confess our sins, and, and allow the Lord to work in our lives once more. So let's bow our heads and let's come to the Lord, asking the Lord to self sanctify us, cleanse us from whatever sins and failures that we have committed in the past days. So that as we need have this fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ on this table, we will be ready and we will be filled. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that you have given us the symbol that will remind us of God, your love to us through the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that whenever we do this, we can sense and feel the presence of your Son, Jesus Christ. Enjoying, oh God, this meal with us. Enjoying the fellowship that He Himself started with the disciples. And Father, as we partake these elements, we ask that You cleanse this, oh God, and even ourselves, purify our hearts, so that indeed the fullness and full meaning of this wonderful event will be realized as we do it now. Father, we just commit to you this time. Again, let this be an opportunity for us to be reminded that we are indeed a family bonded together by your Spirit through the blood of Jesus Christ. It reminds us also, Lord, that we have to take care of our brothers and sisters of the Lord who are in need who needs your comfort, he needs your healing, he needs your, who needs your guidance. And we ask, Lord, that no one will be left, just as you have decided, O oh God, that everyone will be a part of this body, your church. Thank you, Lord, and we commit to your time together, and even this occasion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Romanos hablando de Cristo es. Ahí dice por el Lord dice I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus Christ on the night he was betrayed took bread. After giving thanks he broke it and said, This is my body which is offered for you. Take it in remembrance of me. The same way after the supper he took the cup, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. They drink in remembrance of me. Can you make Father, we thank you. Again, with these symbols of your body and blood that was shed on the cross. It gives us, of oh God, once more, an opportunity to to walk with you and to grow as your children. It gives us an opportunity to continue with our fellowship with you and in pursuit of that wonderful plan you have for each one of us. We thank you, Father, that you have given us this opportunity to be as a family and to share on this table as one body. We ask that you will seal whatever we have done right now and again, use this to heal whatever sickness we have and even discouragement that we have faced in the past days. We ask Lord, strengthen us, strengthen us through this. We commit to yourselves as we wait upon you, Lord, in your coming, that you'll find us indeed pursuing your goal for each one of us. We commit to yourselves continually and even to your church that we will shine as a beautiful bride just as you have planned and waiting for at the right time that you'll come back. Thank you. Seal this now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please visit me. So, ipinagsigawan mo niya lagi ang kanyang pagbibigay sa lahat ng mga tao. Yun namang 20,000, nagbibigay siya ng 500. Ang sabi niya, kayabang naman itong isang ito, eh, 10% niya, pero 200 lang ang kanyang binibigay. Ako, hindi ako binibigay 10%, pero ang binibigay ko mas malaki sa kanya. So, sino po ang nagbibigay ng tama? Wala akong nagbibigay ng tama sa dalawa. Dahil sa Panginoon po, sabi po sa Luke chapter 21 verse 2 to 3, He also saw a poor widow put in a two very small copper coins. Truly I tell you, He said, this is the Lord Jesus Christ said, This poor widow has put in more than all the others. Hindi po sabihin, hindi po panakihan ng pera ang pagbibigyan sa Panginoon. God counts our heart. Pag tayo po faithful sa Panginoon, faithful din tayo sa ating pagbibigay. So, ang binibigyan ang binibigyan ko ng Panginoon, kung ano natitira sa atin, hindi po yung amount na binibigyan natin sa sa Panginoon. So, let us give uh, to the Lord with a cheerful heart.
Father, we praise you and worship you with our hands. We give thanks, Lord, for your presence once again, Panginoon, sa aming bahay sa aming Panginoon. Baspasa mo po, Panginoon, ang aming nakalaw sa aming Panginoon ito, Panginoon. Bigyan mo po ng lakas, Panginoon, ang aming kapatid. Bigyan mo po ng sapat na kalusugan, Panginoon, ang lahat ng mga nang palatang sa aming. We give thanks, Lord, for all the brothers and sisters, for the believers, as we give thanks, Lord, to your name and to your kingdom. We give thanks, Lord, for the fulfillment of your promise, Lord. We give thanks, Lord, for the victory of your name. Just need to pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome po. Meron po tayong bisita today. Pag binasa ko pong pangalan, kung pangari lang po ay sumayo. Sandali. Para po namin ma-recognize sa pinong presensya. Welcome po sa Philippine Evangelical Christian Church, si Brad Ron Harvey. Welcome po. And si Sister Anna Marie Raguelo. Welcome po ulit. At kung pwede na po, i-welcome po namin kayo si Parente. Meron pong lalapis sa inyo dyan. Punta lang po kayo sa likod at meron pong ibibigay sila ng regalo sa inyo po. Okay po, announcement for this week. Next week, serving, August 8th. Ang preserve po natin si Pastor Robert. Presider, Kuya Cesar. Song Wheeler, Ms. Ellen. Lines and offerings si Sir Dina at si Sir May. And intercessors, Brad Melvin, si Sir Armie and si Sir Janet. Fellowship in charge today, mga men. Huwag po kayong umalis ha. Tayo po ang in charge today. Ibig sabihin po tayo magsiserve. Tayo magliligpit, tayo maglilinis, tayo po lahat gagawa mga mens. Huwag tayong uh, aalis na mga aga. At as in, uh, as in charge today, as in team, fellowship in charge next week, women's ministry. As in next week, women's also. Pero po tayong prayer, meet, prayer meeting every Wednesday. Ang ating pong time ng prayer meeting is 7.30, hindi po 8.30. So, huwag po tayong pumunta ng 9 kasi ang habutan niyo po ay closing prayer na. So, 7.30 po ang ating uh, prayer meeting every Sunday at mag-umpisa po ng exactly 7.30. So, pumunta po tayong maaga para makawin po tayong maaga. So, ang ating presider, si Sir Tina, devotion, si Brother June Banyares. So, yung pong mga walang G-groups ulit, mayroon tayo sa Marcaria, Kalipa, Altoba, Jahili, Suehan, kung saan po kayo malapit magpamember na po kayo sa mga G-groups na ito. Andiyan po ang mga telepon members sa bulletin. Meron pong uh, uh, registration sa absentee voting. Kaya na po ba, sir? Uh, kung sino po ang di pa nakapag-registro kung gusto nyo bumoto sa 2016, kung kayo po ay mayroong susuportahan kandidato, pwede po kayo bumoto dito sa UAE, but you need to register. So, after the fellowship, meron pong uh, Uh, registration, all you need to do is to bring your passport copy at uh, mamaya pag-uusapan po natin ang uh, pagpapayos after the fellowship. So, meron po ang uh, regular council meeting next week, August 8, sa bahay po uh, sa fellowship center po, 10 in the morning, but that's po. And uh, meron po ang uh, water baptism, pero hindi pa po uh, fix ang uh, schedule dahil po ginagawa pa po siya po. Uh, birthday celebrants for this Aha. Birthday is birthday ni Brad Pikes sa August 3. Si Sir Myra. Huwag niyong kalimutan si Sir Myra. Nandito po siya sa pan. Si Sir Reza sa 18. At si GM. GM Hello. Wala siya ngayon. Pero tandaan po natin ang mga nauna. Si Brad Pikes at si Sir Myra. Yun pong tatandaan natin. Huwag niyong pong tandaan yung irigalo niyo. Tandaan niyo yung pagpakain nila sa iyo. Maghanda lang si Sir Myra para sa atin. Amen. Okay pa, under announcement po? Okay, wala na po? Praise the Lord. Reminder lang po, if you have brought your photocopy ng inyong passport, you can just proceed outside. Ano po, meron po absentee voting registration that we can help our government by taking part in this. No, dahil lalo natin, alam natin na uh, sa ganitong paraan makapag-contribute uh, tayo, patutulungan natin ang gobyerno para sa darating na uh, 
election sa 2016. But for today, we have some people who we are going to pray for. Um, it will be praying muna sa lahat ang Espino family. Nandito ang Espino family. Okay, nawala sila. Alright, si Sister Myra, of course, nandito. Birthday na birthday. Sister Rosalie. That's Sosa. Nandito na Sister Rosalie. Okay, and also, we'll be praying para doon sa mga alis na kapatid natin, ang Wino Pilipinas. Okay, we'll be praying si Kuya Bo, we'll be leaving by Sunday. Meron pa po ba? And also, there's a, pero po tayong kapatid sa Panginoon na maalis din. We'll be calling Sister, Sister Marza, may you come forward? And maybe, Brother Julius can join you, uh, just to have support. Um, Meron ba po ba ang pauwi ng Pilipinas? Okay. I think meron. Ah, nauna na si Brother Fine. Okay, so... If you have other concerns, special needs, na medyo urgent, you can also join these people before us so that we can pray for them. Ano po? So... We pray for each one of them. So Brother Bongo is leaving this coming Sunday. And si Sister Marisal also. This coming days, let's pray for them. Na ingatan ng Panginoon, gabaya. Tumayo po tayong lahat. Iunan po natin ang mga kamay at patungo sa mga. Let's our hands be a channel of God's blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are indeed thankful for a wonderful experience you've given us this afternoon where we can worship you and experience you in our praises, in our thanksgiving, even in the healing of your word. We thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us as a family to exalt your name, to express all the things that must be returned to you as the good God, as a great God, as a God who remains faithful to us. Seasons may have changed, but you remain faithful, O God. That's why we, as your created beings right now, we'd like to continue to exalt you, even for what you are doing in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for these people who are before us, but experience your that goodness for many, many times in their lives. We thank you for the life of Brother Mong for serving in our church as one of our elders. We thank you for his life. We thank you for using him mightily, God, in reaching out to the lost souls. We thank you for his family. And we thank you for giving him and them the, the wonderful opportunity to have this vacation for a while and be refreshed. Um, just be rested, O oh God, from this work. We ask the Lord that you will keep him safe as he travels going back to the Philippines. I, I pray, Lord, that you will be with him and that he will really be refreshed and renewed in his name, in his family, and that they will rejoice together and be able to be reunited with other relatives too. Again, we release this blessing to Brother Mo, and we are asking, Lord, that you will just bring him back safely in this place after this wonderful time of vacation. Lord, we thank you also for the life of Sister Myra. We thank you for um, enabling her to experience you and know you in this land. We thank you, Lord, that you have led her to grow in the knowledge of you. We thank you for the work that you have provided for her and even for using her to, to help her relatives, her family in the Philippines. Lord, as we stretch out our hands toward her, let this be an expression of your blessings too, that you will touch her, O God, and that you will continue to just manifest yourself in her life and through her life, that you will continue, as you continue to serve the Lord in this church, that we will see the manifestation of your glory in our life, O God, especially through the maturity in the faith that you have stored for her. We just ask for your blessing for her, O God. We praise you, Lord, for her life. Father, we thank you also for the life of our sister Marisa, Lord, for such a short time that we have known her and came to know her, Lord. 
to brother, also with Brother Julius. We thank you for the lives of this couple, whom you have called to be a part of this church, of this family. We thank you that you have allowed them, Lord, to, to enjoy the time that they have through the G group, the Altuba G group. We thank you, Lord, that we have seen the changes in their life. Now that as she goes back to her family in the Philippines, I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that this really will be a, a wonderful and meaningful reunion with her kids and with the relatives. I pray that for your safety and I pray that whatever uh, endeavor that she will take for oh God and that, that the plans for her life that she will open up for business, I ask that you will prosper that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for their time together with Brother Julius. Jude, Jude, their being together has come to the point that they surrender their lives to you. This is our joy, Lord, to see people coming to you, to see people knowing you personally as their Lord and Savior. Father, we are always grateful for what you have done in the lives of this couple. They may have gone through several trials and, and the road may have been rough for our Madison, but we thank you that we have seen your deliverance, your salvation being realized in the life of this woman. Father, we commit her to you and we extend that blessing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a family, we release each one of oh God to you and to your hand. We are asking your overflowing grace and mercy and blessing be upon them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, for each one of us right now who have come in this place to worship you, again, once more, we'd like to just bring back all the honor and the praises to you. Thanking you for what you have done, for allowing us to experience this, this wonderful time of fellowship and worshiping. I ask, Lord, that whatever we need that we have, that too will be answered according to your time, according to your will, and that you will meet them all, so that we'll continue to be used by you and shine for you, Lord, wherever we go. We thank you, Lord, and as we go back to our own homes and our own jobs, let this be a, a refreshing time again, that we are assured of your presence, and for whatever that we're going to do, Lord, we will see in the work of your spirit, prospering us, working mightily through us. We just honor you and thank you for everything and for the answers to these prayers because we come through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is our prayer. Amen.
the days of our life.